breathing and wandering hand trouble. <laughs> yes, I did, thank you, darling. <clears throat> and I was uh, an absolute model of good behaviour. In fact, I think she was so mystified at one time that she actually considered making a pass at me. <laughs> yes, good night, of course. Was that how you got Coco down your jacket? <laughs> she didn't throw it at me, if that's what you're trying to insinuate. I spilled Coco on him. I tried to kiss him just as he was leaving and... Oh, Roly, you don't suppose he'll wake up this morning, see his jacket, and think I'm a great clumsy cow? <laughs> you are the one, only you. So what's the next move? What's the next... Not a game of drafts, you know. Shouldn't you be bringing her doorbell with two dozen red roses? <laughs> no, I should not. But when you're grown up, you'll realise that a relationship like this has to be handled with kid gloves. You've got to play cool. It was a very romantic evening. Well, I'm going to play it very cool, very casual. He did say he was in love with me, but he had had a few drinks, and I had played him a romantic record. Oh, Lord. Supposing he got the idea I was throwing myself at him. Postman, I'll go down. Oh, thank you, darling. I bet he's going down for the mail. I'll give him a few seconds, and then I'll just sort of saunter out. <laughs> Sorry, Elizabeth, nothing for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nothing for her. Um, uh, how did she look? Like someone who didn't get any mail. <laughs> Come on, there is one for her. Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Yes, it is for her, isn't it? Uh, look, Carla, I'll take this. Um, uh, how do I look? A bit flush. <laughs> you can't play it cool if you're a bit flushed. 